Gonna be rocking that Akuma. Yeah, that, that band costume. Not band, but, <laughs> you know, what people don't like. Oh, interesting. Okay. It is Eugene. Gigas, yeah. Yeah, Eugene boy, man. One of the best Gigas players. I haven't seen a Gigas since forever. You don't really see Gigas at all. Yeah. Gigas, I, I feel Gigas is a really interesting character. I, I personally like Gigas. I feel, he's, I feel he's like one of those untapped ones. He's got a lot of potential. So we're gonna go in. We've got Kaiper versus Gigas. Be interesting to see how Kaiper actually deals with this. You know what I mean? Gigas is. So we're gonna go into last day on Earth. Okay, so we're gonna get into this. Round one. Go! Starts off straight with the low parry there. Kaiper putting some asserting some dominance. Don't just putting the fear on him. Don't do those lows. Yeah. That's one thing actually we learn about um, Kaiper. His, his um, execution on player one and player two is a little bit different. Yeah. So let's hope to see he's actually worked on those Akuma combos. He definitely has. I think they've been a lot better. The more he's been playing the character, the more he's been better. Um, Yujin Boy, of course, they're using Gigas, so he's going to have to utilize the range if he can to jab the down forward one. All that kind of stuff, man. You see that Kaiper is on full, full force attack. And actually, I've seen an interesting video on Twitter about Gigas dealing with Akuma How? and all these demon flip mix ups. Explain. I can't actually remember if it's like a while. That movie he's doing with the uppercut, or is that like a, in his stance while standing one or something? I don't know. But it's definitely a video that actually shows tech uh. that he actually deals with most of his options by doing something. Let's see, let's see. Anyway, Kaiper takes the first round. Are we going to see some hidden Japanese tech here? Discord tech? Ooh, I wonder if he could have let that rip. It looked like he could have. Nice punish there. <laughs> Both power crush in, why not? Oh, that's clean hit. That's clean hit. Here we go, hey. Hey, this uh, is probably going to go to the wall. wall. Yeah, yep, goes to the wall. Nah, no, doesn't get a dash up in time, but... Oh, yeah. One, two, punish. Plus frames. Goes to the one, plus two, bro. That is punishable, the back one. Oh, punish that! Yes! yes. <laughs> we have a I'll be cheering for when oh! we get punished. EXDP, you have to remember that when Akuma has bar, he has an option, this yeah. invincible move. Something that I guess Tekken players maybe still not have been, like, have adapted to just yet. Not, not, not something they've adapted to, and you know, it's like, <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. And he ain't adapted to focus attacks either, just stood there and watched it fully charge. Blood. Gets to the wall. Huge damage. Didn't even suspend the bar either. And dead. that's gonna be dead. My guy is speed running this shit. Speed nice. run. You know, sometimes it's so beautiful. You just watch it. Just he watched it charge up fully. You know, light to yeah. fly to a light. <laughs> and he's doing two break from that. So you see what Dojin has to do. So it's like he's just going for a stage change here instead. Seems like he was a bit tilted from Yakuma. Doesn't probably has a bit of a trouble with the matchup. It seems. But again, <laughs> lots of people do have trouble with Akuma. Akuma needs to be so strong in season three. Yeah, man. And Kaiper, you know, outside of Akuma has been, you know, in season one of World Tour, he used Feng, and that Feng was he almost got into the World Finals. Yeah, he did. Like um, I said, he's seen one measly point. And he never did. He didn't go to any challenges. He only went to Masters. So yeah, he if he went to that. one challenger, he would have he would have qualified. So yeah, this guy no, knows how to do second. Anyway, let's get into the second game here. Fun. Japan versus Spain. He's at a down jump, just alleviate the pressure. Let's see what Yojin can do. Okay, big combo. That's huge damage, 50%. The spring goes out of there. And here we go, gets a launch of his own. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't go downstairs. Cross up Taxi gets blocked. Okay, nice. Gets to tell me that's going to be around. Baby Tantrum just slamming it down. Round two. Seems nice. Yujin's Fight. made the adjustments that he needs. I mean, the first round did look really comfortable. First game, sorry, did look really comfortable. Kaiper. It seems like Yojin actually struggled with the match. Yeah, absolutely. He's gonna like, jab pressure. Wow. Okay, nice. Gets a Akuma from behind. Okay, unblockable uh. this time. Looking good okay. for Yojin. Definitely looking good. Okay, focus attack. And this could potentially be the round. Yep, that's it. No. Never mind. Wow, maybe that was down to you. I think he needed to wake up on that, but I guess he just didn't expect it. I didn't expect that to happen either. Yeah. Okay, both um, focus and uh, key. Um, 
both. Yeah, what's, what's happening? I'm, I'm going to raise that. Yeah. yeah. Wow, the range. Gigas has got those long arms. You know, baby tantrum. Yeah. Just teleports in there. Nice uh, awareness there. Okay. One, two, punish. Fair enough. Probably thought that Gigas was going to run in. I'm not sure what Kaip is doing, man. He's quite unpredictable, but oh god, I could have been punished. Yeah, could have got a one, two. Here we go. No, spends the bar, but doesn't get anything in return. Big whiff on the sweep. Of course, you know, uh, Giga does have those stubby legs as well, so it can be quite hard for Akuma yeah, to get very that true. clear. Is he going to get a wolf splat? Gets a high wolf splat. Big damage. Okay, goes to mix up this time. Oh, the rage art. <gasps> that was a big whiff. What? And a, yeah, What's I think, he doing? I don't, I don't know. Uh oh. Is that going to go? Gas oh, oh my you're god. pissed. You are pissed. That's something that probably Yojin has worked on. Yeah. Goes right through that fireball. He's like, no, sir. <laughs> He's left to put a car with a down two after. Mm. No need to key charge here. <laughs> okay, gets it in plus frames. Okay, one, two. Okay, nice. Uses the focus attack. I mean, power crush, not focus attack. Yeah. Here we go, flip. One, two, three. Bear jabs. Bear jabs. Here we go. Punish that. Doesn't get a full punish. Could have got a DP after that jab. Yeah. Because I think he's trying to catch it running in with the um, just running shoulder tackle from Gigas. But here we go, big combo. Okay, okay gets a tail spin. No, no, he doesn't no, get yeah. a tail spin. Okay. Maybe touch him. Sams it down. Huge damage. Both in rage. Just runs up down. Down, down three. Down now here four. we go. Kaipa moves on to set point here versus Fusion Boy. Could be it. Starts off with a down four. Why not? And <laughs> Again, another down one. four. It is unseeable. Big with no punish from Kaipa. It's okay though. He didn't get hit. Yeah, you can see Joe jo jo Ding's kind of punish and panicking now. Especially when he's throwing out the down two. Ooh. Seems like he has no answer, but down two, it, it works eventually. Yeah, he went for the down two instead of back one. That is, is minus 14, so wrong punish from Kaipa. Might kill him. Oh, man. Okay, nice punish there. It's so interesting. Oh, that's going to be it. If he can get the combo. One, hey, two, hey, three, hey. four, five. Ooh! No wall. Is that plus? I don't, I don't know. Oh my god! Eugene! He has rage available! He needs to be very oh! careful! Oh! the fireball! Just before he got stunned, he was able to use a fireball. And Eugene not now, happy with himself. I am surprised that Kaipa threw that fireball because he's seen him get punished with the rage um, art before. He yeah. Was